All right, we're about to head to Universal Orlando. We're gonna bring you with us for Universal's annual pass holder night. This is held in conjunction with Universal Orlando annual pass holder appreciation days that they do every year with all sorts of special things. Last year, they held it at Islands of Adventure. This year, it's at Universal Studios. We're gonna bring you to see what it's like, what they have in store for us, what special things, what the crowds are like. You had to sign up for this in advance and we were lucky to get spots. We're excited all things Universal, been a pass holder for years. I love that they do this and whether you're a pass holder or not, even if you're not, you get access to this night because you're coming with us. So let's go. All right, we're here. There's UOAP night signs everywhere. So again, that's Universal Orlando annual pass holder. It's both August 16th and 17th. I love the glowing neon, the moon and the stars. Loving it. So like I said, you had to sign up in advance, which we did. So here we go. All right, so we've got our email. I can hear them like a DJ or something saying, pass holder night. We've got some music. We've got signs leading the way and we want to have fun. Exclusive pass holder night menu items. We also have pizza fries. Woody and Winnie are out meeting guests too. They'll be in the park also. And Woody's wearing a pass holder shirt, which I love. And they just gave us our free pass holder magnet, which I also love. So the parade just ended and we're hearing the park-wide music for the Jurassic Park float, which is awesome. Off in the distance, you can see it. Oh, there it went. And look at this. The Halloween Horror Nights neon sign is up and day guests are flooding out of the park as we get ready for our exclusive annual pass holder night. Awesome. So we're catching just the end of the parade, but if we go over here, we're catching just the beginning. We're just gonna watch a little bit of the parade. Well, okay, we'll watch the whole thing, but I'll just share a little bit of it because it's so, good the mega movie parade it's like classic universal films it's amazing so here's a, just a little snippet That was fun. We were in like a sea of pass holders watching the parade. We're gonna pop into the five and dime now because there's another free pass holder goodie we're getting tonight. All right, this is this month's magnet. It's back to the future themed. We've got the cloth that's awesome. It says, great Scott. And so this is talking about the ride, the back to the future ride. They bid it goodbye in 2007. And now 17 years later, it's back. Welcome back to the future. Aw. And it's back in the parade too, which is super cool. Nice. Let me know if you rode the old Back to the Future ride. It's where the Simpsons ride is now. I used to love it. I rode it all the time and I miss it. What do you think of it, Dracula? And this is the hot item of the moment. The little boo, he sits on your shoulder with a magnet, yeah. right? So you put the magnet like under your shirt, I guess, and then he pops on. He's a hot item right now. Oh yeah, I feel the magnet in there. And he's $20, you can get a pass holder discount. All right, it's been kind of a whirlwind since we got in, but it's been a great start so far. The sun is still out, it should be setting soon. But we checked in, we got our wristbands, we got our magnet, we came in, the parade was ending, we caught the end of the parade, and we were up here by the horror makeup show, and you could see it was all pass holders. Everyone knew what to do, everyone had the blue wristband on hanging in that area right where the parade ends. We got to watch it all go by and that was super cool. Saw some friends, chatted with people, got our annual pass holder button, grabbed one Lil Boo shoulder thingy. He's got a magnet in here, right? So you put the magnet under your shirt and then you pop him on your shoulder. So I may be wearing him this season, maybe later tonight I'll put him on, but right now 
He's, he's like a hot commodity. I'm telling you that they would refill the basket and then it was empty again. Refill the basket, empty again. It was, it was out of hand. So I got one. I'll check later to see if they refill the basket again. But that was kind of like a last one I could grab. And now pass holders are congregating, chilling, taking photos, relaxing. You can feel the park getting more like day guests clearing out. And we're excited for an awesome night. Also, the weather feels so good. Like it's definitely warm, but my gosh. It is not nearly as hot as it's been. All right, so we can see some like decorations and photo ops out. This is great. Oh, also there are some specialty pass holder exclusive food and treats out tonight. So maybe we'll try something there too. This is cool and you can see the light bulbs on it. So you know at night it's gonna be all lit up and look cool. We'll definitely take some photos with that. Of course, we are really close, like two weeks away from Halloween Horror Nights opening. So we're seeing stuff all over the park too. And it's just, so cool to see this setup and how much it's progressed since last time I was out looking at it. Wow, how cool is this? This is gonna be like a quiet place. Bar or food or something, I guess. Wow, cool, look, it's open again. Yay, we can go through. It does smell like fresh construction, right? Oh, that's awesome. And here's the other side where the exit would be and it says, be quiet. That's so neat. Y'all know one of my favorite kind of videos to make are the Halloween Horror Nights updates videos while they're building up the scare zone. So I'll be out soon to do another one, like right before the event starts, but there's so much new out for the torture fair and it looks so cool. Okay, that looks amazing too. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. They have the lighting on here in the Ghostbusters food booths. Look, the lighting is on. It looks so good. And this is just a taste because it's barely even dark yet. Oh, that's awesome. They also have a special for tonight that if you bring a refillable cup, it's only like seven bucks to activate it to refill for the whole night. Or they have a special one for sale too, a special pass holder one. So that's cool. Not surprisingly, the line for Finnegan's is out the door because pass holders and Finnegan's, best. The stage looks amazing. Uh, Awaits. The food booths look so, so cool this year. Twilight Tavern and Twisted Tater. Robbie the cabbie is out. I see you got your cab here. I, I do, I do. I'm double parked. You got any rides available? A anytime you want. All right, oh, we're going to hop in. I'm available. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, enjoy. Wait times are really low right now. We're about an hour into the event. Pretty much day guests are now cleared out of the park. Tons of pass holders. The late summer bugs singing their symphony. So pretty, all lit up. The Halloween Horror Nights food booths. Look at this, Sam, it's a castle. Oh, it's so awesome. The Universal Orlando parks are so beautiful at night. And the crowd levels are so nice right now. This is actually amazing. So tonight, as a special thing for Passholder Night, Louise has pizza fries. This veggie slice, that's my favorite, but it's all delicious, but that's not what we're here for right now. Well, that looks so good. Normally pizza fries are a delicacy held only, ooh, it's hot, 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 only during Halloween Horror Nights, right? They're a specialty thing. They are exactly what they sound like, fries with cheese, tangy tomato sauce, pepperoni, you can get with or without pepperoni, sausage, delicious and they are popular and it is popping off in here. Tangy tomato, melty cheese, a delight. Oh, it is absolutely popping off in here. People everywhere, just pizza fries, man. They draw, oh yeah, they draw the pass holders. Look, I gotta, gotta get the camera up to ooh, get all that cheese. I gotta make sure I don't burn my mouth too. That is a pro tip. I get in with a fork because, you know, the cheesier the better. You get in there, you get like a sauce. The pro tip is get a piece with, oh, I dropped a pepperoni. You get a pepperoni, you get a sausage, you get cheese. You get it all in one bite. Now you're talking. All right, that was great. So fun. Oh, it's nighttime now. Woo! Oh, they've put up these barriers. Oh, and you only get to see the street lights on at night. <laughs> All right, the Coca-Cola Zone. Let's go in and let's party. Even though they're playing feeling hot, 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 it actually feels cool out. We got a glowing stand 
thing to hang out at. We know we love a glowing table slash chair. That's, Any of the above. That's prime real estate. <laughs> On the screen up here, they're showing the Stardust Racers like ride guys thing that they put up on YouTube. How fun. They're giving out like free soda samples and this is Sprite Zero Chill. So it's like zero calorie Sprite Chill. I've never heard of that. It's good. It says it's the coldest Sprite yet. Is it cold? Yes. It's good though. Shots of Sprite. Shots of Sprite. It's kind of like Try the coldestest Sprite yet. I'm dancing too. Yeah, Sam's dancing too. Don't forget in just 30 minutes we have your show happening at 9.30. That's a sensational. So once again, it's a party right here for you, Universal Studios, Orlando Class Holders. One more time, if you feel good, somebody scream! The party zone, so they have like Coca-Cola drinks and swag and just having fun, people dancing, you know? Wait. We got Beetlejuice out right now, and more characters are gonna come out here in front of the horror makeup show. And they're gonna do Sensational, so we'll see the fireworks. You may just watch them from like afar, because it's an amazing show. You should definitely see it from the lagoon. But the pass holders are excited, and a lot of people are in there, so I feel like out here we'll have like a, a chance to see it in a way you normally wouldn't. The weather feels amazing, right? This is the nicest feeling night in a long time. There's like a breeze, it's not incredibly humid. I don't know, they, they went all out the weather. <laughs> I don't know what you did Universal, yeah. but... Uh... Yeah, keep doing that. Wow. This is amazing. The love that pass holders have for this show is incredible. Look at that, how cool. The drones are amazing. We are in line for some characters. We got the show going on in the background. We can see the drones and the fireworks. Amazing, amazing. Oh, I love it. The drones look so big from back here. Meeting Woody and Winnie Woodpecker in their Halloween attire, Dracula and Bride of Frankenstein is so much fun. We had a long and in-depth conversation about vampires, woodpeckers, all the good things in the world. They're some of the best rare characters to meet and they're out usually only during special events nowadays. Cute or what? I'm sweating. Hey, me too. Look, Jaws! The show's still going on and everyone's watching it. Should we try to ride something? Uh, sure. What about it's National Roller Coaster today? Mummy? Mummy. Look at this! Wow. King Kong! It's so cool to be just walking through the park while this is going on. I like love the soundtrack. Me too. It's so good. The movie soundtrack and then the like whole symphony thing they have going on with the music notes here on the buildings. It's really beautiful. It's awesome! Look at how dark everything is because of the show going on. This is so cool. Look at this. It is. It's like 
such a private pie down here. Oh my god, this is awesome. We've got a ride now, so we're gonna go put our stuff in a locker and hopefully walk on and ride. Woohoo! We have been meeting so many cool people tonight. Everybody's been awesome and it's so nice. And if we met you tonight, thank you for being so cool. And someone just gave me this friendship bracelet that says UOAP. I love that. That is so cool. Thank you. Got influenced by the Sprite. <laughs> influenced. <laughs> it worked. That advertising works. It worked. We got peach flavor. Nice. So look, they have UOAP nights up here on the Men in Black building. The Men in Black are out with Frank. Wow. Being here at night, seeing all the Halloween Horror Night stuff set up, plus just the low like crowds and stuff. This is so nice. It's got us so excited. Look at the carry drive-in! And look at the spooky design on the popcorn! How fun! Oh, we definitely want to get a look in DreamWorks Land at night, too. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Shrek's definitely, it's past Shrek and Fiona's bedtime. They got a lot to deal with. But this is so cool to see like this. It's cool to see Troller Coaster at night. Pretty. Oh, the lanterns look really pretty over there too. The little playground looks really pretty lit up too. Bumblebee is out! Woo! They're playing like party music in the park. Bumblebee! Woo! <laughs> Are you gonna ride? I'm gonna think about it. Are you coming? Nah, I'll watch you. I think Sam is gonna hop on Rip Ride Rockets. And we are gonna cheer him on. He's going, he's going. There he is, there he is. It's cool to hear like party radio music in the park too. And it says UOAP nights up in the front. Oh, woohoo! We got team members waving us off. So nice. It's been a great night, and everyone we talked to said like it was great and they had a great time. And yeah, yeah, everyone we've talked to said they had a great night and a great time, and we did too. We thought they did this really well. And there are two nights, so there's another night of this tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed doing it with us and getting to see what it was like. All right, we made it back to the car and it was a really, really fun night. My gosh, it was cool how they did a special showing of Sensational for pass holders, the pizza fries, characters, fun, like little wait times, really good vibes and atmosphere, lots of fun. We chatted with so many people tonight. It was a blast. I love that Universal does things like this for pass holders. So every year they do UOAP days and I'll usually do a video or two showing you like some of the special food and activities. That's outside of this night. So I'll probably still do a video showing some other stuff because there's much more normal stuff during the day that pass holders can do during this time, which is usually like a couple of weeks in the year around August. But this night is something they used to do 
pre-pandemic and then they stopped doing for a while and then it came back last year at Islands of Adventure. We had a great time last year too, but I think that this one was even nicer, weirdly. I don't know, it just went really well and it's so fun to be, just feel like a little special thing that a theme park does for its pass holders, you know. So whether you're a pass holder or not, I hope you had a great time hanging out with us. We had a great time and enjoy sharing these kinds of special things with you and, you know, documenting them and having them here on the channel. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of fun things coming up. It is, that season is rolling rolling on so many cool things coming so stay tuned for all of that let me know what you thought of pass holder night if you've ever been to a night like this maybe at another park or something like that and thank you for hanging out with us we're sending you a ton of love see you for the next video and until then as always